Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Tonight hopefully going to be a quick video. I am going to be remaking the oil drain for my HX40 Turbo. Now I originally had this fitting um, which I made not that long ago really. This here is an AN8 fitting and you can see it's quite small. Um, nowhere near big enough um, for an oil drain. Now just measuring that, that is under 10 mil wide, way too small. The reason why I went with this is because my original plans were to plumb this into the scavenge um, of the dry sump system. So it would be hopefully pulling a vacuum from here and not backing up. So the, uh, the N8 would probably have been all right. The reason why I don't want to use this anymore is because this would be plumbed into the rear scavenge line on the sump and the likelihood is when this needs most of the scavenge all of the oil is going to be at the back of the sump so there's a chance that would have backed up I don't know uh, obviously the car's not run and um, I've never tested this however I've decided to go straight back to the sump now obviously that is going to be way too small. The original, this is the, the original feed back to the sump. Um, you see it's quite large there. This is on the smallest diameter. Here is 17.8 mil. Um, so considerably larger than what we've got here. Now, the plan is to make one of those out of some aluminium bar. Uh, I'll turn that out on the lathe. That's probably the bit that's going to take the most amount of time, really. Um, so that will then push into the, into the block onto an O-ring. And I've got some length of aluminium tube here, 25 mil. Internal diameter of that is, I'll be able to tell you that now. That is 21 and a half mil, there or thereabouts. Plenty of flow through there. The inside of the whole set, if you're wanting, I've got a couple of spare here. So the inside of the turbo is 19.7 mil, so it's got a massive drain. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to get this on the lathe. I'm going to cut this weld off and, uh, and part the AN fitting off of this flange. So uh, I'll be able to weld the bit of pipe directly to it. Uh, and then I'll get on with this. Hopefully it won't take too long over this. Like I say, I'd like to crack this out tonight. It's a Sunday evening, so uh, I want to get out of here as early as I can and throw this on the lathe and get going. So I've managed to part those. That fitting there, actually, uh, I did actually press into there before I welded it. So um, I cut off the weld and then basically pressed it out. Um, it's made a bit of a I don't know if you can see that. Bit of a mess in there. I'll chuck that in the lathe quickly and uh, clean that up. But that'll be absolutely fine. It's still nice and flat. I'll be able to reuse that no problem. I could get that done and then I'll start making the uh, this bit.
to take too long over this, but that has taken considerably longer than what looking at it might suggest. Um, looks quite nice obviously. That is the same diameter there as this. Slips in the block nicely, uh, as you saw earlier. That is that 7.5 degree taper. Uh, and then it steps out to the same diameter as this shoulder, um, but there's no reason for it to step back in and back out like that one does. That diameter there, inside diameter, is smaller than this outer diameter here. So inside, there's no harsh steps in there, but there is a 10 degree taper on the inside. It's all right though, uh, and I don't know if you can see there's a little step here. Reason for that is this just slides. It's very snug actually. Over the top of that, I won't push it on all the way. I may never get it off again, but that'll slide in there some five mil, and then I can just put bead of weld around that. So next step is to get this bit of pipe bent up and then weld it together. Make it sound so easy. I know that it's going to be a nightmare. But hopefully I'll be able to get it done tonight. Time is getting on. See what I can do. So you can see just down there that is that Fitting that I've just made presses nicely into the block and this pipe obviously has to come out of there I've got to make some sort of bend that comes this way and then I'll come around here and then a bend to go up here now I'm not going to be doing pie cuts on this I don't want to have loads of welds on it so I'm going to be using this. Now I've had this for quite a while now and I've used this on a lot of steel before which is how I've created the bends on here. It was a eBay purchase. Uh, I think it was probably about £80. Not used it on aluminium yet. Hopefully it'll do good enough job won't ruin the aluminium but we'll see see how this goes Not too bad, it's come out alright, it's not flattened it, not crushed it, it's not kinked it. So that should hopefully do. Well that has taken considerably longer than I thought it was going to, as does everything. That is actually my second attempt. First one here, just a bit of a mess. I thought I'll start that again. I'm sure this could be done in just two bins, but that's how it's turned out. So I've taken the cold side off the turbo because I know that through the center of this is where the, the drain's gonna be. 
and it is about 15 to 20 mil off this face um, so that at the minute is pretty much where that wants to be so I'll cut this off to length um, not tonight tomorrow night and hopefully get them welded up and they'll sit in the perfect spot it was a good job I did this that is just pushed in there by hand had I not been able to do that then I would have been fiddling around trying to get that fit up nicely I could have taped it but it, it could have moved yeah shame I couldn't finish it tonight it is almost midnight I'll catch up with you tomorrow or the next day or whenever it might be and get this finished okay we're back in the garage the very next day um, I have quickly cut off the pipe um, just done that just now just roughly cut off I know it needs to be slightly lower than this so flange will be getting welded on there obviously that is considerably higher than it it needs to be so um, this will get cut down so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw the cold side back on boil it all up and then I can take it out of the bottom and basically align that vertically where it wants to be mark off where I'm going to cut off the pipe and um, cut it off hopefully it'll only take one attempt uh, won't take too long clean it all up what up so on with the cold side I'll quickly do that now cold side is back on you can see the fitting just about in short and um, that will go down there and we are a bit long there you can see that there's a bit to be cut off plus I don't yet have the uh, this fitting bolted on so maybe I should do that first I'll stick that on now Okay, that's in place. Off this up. Now there is a fair bit that needs taken off that, so we're probably 40 mil, 50 mil maybe, maybe as much as 50. So I'll uh, I'll trim a little bit off. Um, yeah, I'll probably keep going, trimming a little bit off until we get down to where we want to be right took off about 30 mil there and we are oh we're not far off actually there isn't much to come off that I'm quite glad I didn't take any more off that because that really isn't far off so maybe another three to five mil take a little bit off that see how that goes right attempt number two and this is probably where that four mil that I've taken off is way too much. Let's see. Very close. I think now instead of cutting off I'm going to use the file. Just take a little bit off at a time. But yeah, that is very very close at the minute. Also, you see that needs rounding off a little bit, so I'll stick that in advice, make it nice and round, and then start shaping it. Go from there. That there is quite close. You can see I just need to take a little bit more off this front edge here and probably a little off this side as well uh, that should probably 
I think that fit, but we're, we're almost there. A little, more, a little bit more off with the file, and uh, that should be good. Then I'll just mark up the orientation and um, stick a couple of tacks on there and then test fit it. There we go, that is tacked in position. I'll be lying if I said that that only took one attempt. That took a little while, shaving off half a mil at a time using a, uh, a file. It got there in the end, took two attempts at tacking it together. I don't know why, it was uh, it was all nicely marked up and lined up. Tacked it together, brought it back to the turbo and it was probably out by about 10 degrees, maybe even more than that. So, But it fits now, I will I'll probably uh, tack that in position down there, make sure that it goes together in one piece and then um, fully weld it up. Right, so that's tacked up. I've just test fitted it. Fits perfectly, um, as far as, as I can see anyway. So I'm going to fully weld this up. So that is fully welded. Came out all right, apart from the uh, dip of shame. Don't know what was up with me. I've never dipped a tungsten in my life. Right. Just do this end and then let it cool down and test fit it to the car. Hopefully it fits. And that came out all right. Not too bad. Got a little bit more comfortable towards the end. Um, I've not done stainless for a little while, not that I'm normally any good at it anyway, but it seems to have come out okay. Um, I'll let that cool off and hopefully that'll fit. And there you go, that is now a job complete. Came out quite well actually quite pleased with it. Um, I would have liked it with a few less bends in it but that that's worked out quite well. If you've enjoyed today's video please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. If you've got any questions drop them down in the comments and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.